All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing our final review because this is now for the double series finale for AMC's original Fear the Walking Dead. All right, dudes, so today is the day uh, we finally get to see the ending for AMC's Fear the Walking Dead premiering in 2015. The series has run up till now, uh, pretty much at the end of 2023 here going to 2024. So eight seasons, basically nine years for Fear the Walking Dead. It's been uh, a great run, at least in terms of the amount of episodes they've gotten out of it and how much we've gotten to see uh, with it. So uh, did the double finale ending, um, you know, serve as a good ending for the series? I think it uh, I think it did. I, I think that this was a, uh, a good finale, a good ending, at least it uh, spoilers, by the way leaves us off with a uh, on a high note or you know giving us like a positive uh, payoff after seeing the series for all these years the last thing you kind of want is sort of to watch a series for nine years uh, year after year over 100 episodes at over 40 minutes an episode and then have the ending be you know kind of uh, a downer um, this ending for Fear of the Walking Dead, I think, gave us, um, you know, a good, solid, happy ending. So we get two episodes. We get episode 11 and episode 12. Uh, episode 12, The Road Ahead, and uh, episode 11, Fighting Like You. Now, um, that said, as much as I do like to see the series finish off on a positive note, uh, there are some things about these two episodes, and really season 8 as a whole, that make it a little bit tricky. Um, I feel like there's a couple of themes here with Fear of the Walking Dead that they definitely overplayed uh, their hand with. They, I think they did a little bit too much swerving back and forth with all the different, um, you know, uh, uh, characters and storyline they're going with. So you have quite a few characters here. No one's gone till they're gone, which uh, in terms of swerve. Okay, so you start off, so you think character's dead, and then you find out, no, they're alive, right? But it feels like to me, at certain times, especially with Tracy, for example, they just like, this is this is correct, and then it's not, and then, it, you know, it's this, and then it's not. Like, it, it just got a little bit convoluted, I think, or maybe they tried to do a little bit too much with Tracy and with uh, Alicia and some of the other characters where they just swerved a little bit too much. So you have a few characters coming back from the dead here with Fear. You have... Um, Troy, you know, coming back from seemingly being killed in season three um, to give us kind of a good finale uh, ending uh, villain, I suppose, for fear. You have Madison, you know, having, you know, before, again, like Swerve before was dead and then is alive. And then the finale here, I think they even try to do like a mini, you know, is dead and then like uh, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Um, Alicia, all season they've been telling us is is dead. And like I said in one of the recent videos, we got to wait to see like the final scene uh, before we really, you know, take that as as certain because they just keep, you know, they've gone back and forth so many times. It's it's it does get to be a little bit tricky to follow. Definitely with Tracy, who I like where Tracy finishes off uh, at the end, and I think she's a very good addition for Fear of the Walking Dead to kind of finish things off. They sort of did uh, something similar in the original Walking Dead series. You had some of the kids kind of come in by the end. You had like uh, RJ, you had Judith, you had some of the others. So it, um, you know, I think it finished off good, but to get there with Troy and Madison and everything, you had to just go like back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. It just got too crazy. Episode 11, I thought was okay. Um, you know, uh, are, is she going to kill Troy? No, she's not. Yes, she is. No, she's not. Yes, she is. And then eventually, out of out of the blue, she does. So Madison kills Troy in front of uh, Tracy. And what? He's not her father or something? I, I don't know. Even I have trouble keeping up with all this stuff. Uh, the herd's pretty cool. You get this Russell character who's leading them there. So it's kind of like the final episode for Troy as the villain, finishing him off in the second last episode. Um, okay, enough episode fighting like you. Decent enough. Then we have the road ahead uh, where you have the standoff uh, with uh, Strand not wanting Madison to, to keep Tracy even though I guess Tracy is her granddaughter, I suppose. So you get sort of a, you know, a them turning on each other again. Daniel turns on them as well, too, because he just gets fed up with them. 
uh, you know, and, and uh, everything that's that's happened over time. You get some good stuff with Dwight in the final episode, I think, as he's kind of like leading the Padre group and him and Sherry. Maybe they decide to go back to the sanctuary and kind of start again and rebuild there. It's a good ending for them. There was the good ending before for Morgan in uh, the first half of season eight where they really focused on on him. Um, it's just a shame we couldn't see him with in these last few episodes with everybody else and then you know have kind of a big climactic battle together. But very much of Fear the Walking Dead's theme throughout the series has been you know people or characters seeming to be dead and then coming back right so again just did it a little bit too much i think with alicia at the end here but that said it was good to see alicia come back you got to see that final scene with her uh, or, or a few scenes there with her and madison and then kind of uh, at the end the groups all the different little groups going their separate ways and um maybe with um you know uh, alicia madison and tracy heading back to L.A. where kind of the whole series started. So uh, will we see a spinoff for any of these characters or any further story for them in the future? I think this served as a very good ending. I, I don't think we'll probably see more from these. If they wanted to do one spinoff out of these uh, groups, uh, Dwight and Sherry, I don't think there's enough for a spinoff, but they could be featured in a different Walking Dead series maybe or something with Sanctuary. Uh, maybe that would be okay. Um, the, uh, the Clarks, I think probably would be the best to see for a spinoff, uh, in LA, but again, that would be kind of high budget. They, they probably won't do it. I, I'm doubting that we would see that. So they haven't announced anything just yet. Um, so, you know, the, the action sequences with all the zombies and everything were really cool, um, but they went over them very quickly. You didn't get to see. There were some cool zombie kills and whatnot, so good action, but it, it's not all-out war, for example, like the original Walking Dead series where, um, the episodes focus first and foremost on action and big battles and then kind of the character stuff is to the side. This one's very much, uh, character character driven character interactions but again just convoluted because they went back and forth so many freaking times that by the end i was exhausted i was like i don't even care just finish this because this is <laughs> this is too too many, too much back and forth i don't care just what is the end product here uh you know you stop at different times in the last few episodes with tracy and you're like after a little while you just get to the point where it's like i don't i don't care this much guys like can you just give us a a definitive kind of ending here uh, you know for for the characters and everything uh, instead of all these back and forth and then and then this person's lying and that person's lying and big reveal so score for the final two episodes i'm going to give this a, a six and a half out of ten it was a good happy ending it was a good ending for fear but getting there was a uh, was uh, uh, difficult a bit frustrating and just too much back and forth that's it so okay so so that's what i thought Happy to see Fear the Walking Dead finish off. Happy to see it end. Uh, it's a good time to end it now. You don't want to try to do more seasons of it, I don't think. If anything, they did a little bit too much Fear. Maybe they did a little, like, a season too many. Maybe they should have ended it a year ago or something. But they ended off now, and they have the reuniting scene, which is the most important, I think, for uh, for everything that you see in this, uh, in this finale. Um, so, cool stuff. I'm okay if we never see, you know, any of these, if we never see any of these characters again, be it Dwight and Sherry, be it the, the Clark uh, family, I guess, again, right? Uh, be it anybody else, Luciana, Daniel, if we don't, Strand, if we don't see any of them again, I'm totally okay with that. I thought this served as a decent enough happy ending for these characters. And, um, you know, with these showrunners and the way things are going, I think... I think I'm good. I don't <laughs> give me a headache, right? I, I don't know about you guys. Leave your comments to let me know if am I the only one who gets a headache trying to follow all this. Um, it's okay. So, you know, that, that's that's it. That's what I'm going to give it to finish it off. At least we got to see a, a happy ending in some way, right? So that's it for the review. Uh, leave your comments below. What did you think about the finale for Fear of the Walking Dead? Thumb the video up below. Share, favorite, and subscribe at the bottom. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another video. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace. Later, guys. See you soon.